I'm Jade Baker. An estimate number of 25 UVA students participate in a different form of fraternal Greek life, Black Greek life. We took a look into the differences between the Inner Fraternity Council and National Panhellenic Council. In the traditional Greek system, members pay large fees to their fraternity monthly or semesterly. Shep Walker of the Inner Fraternity Council frat, Fiji, says that in the IFC, those dues cover their social events. So our fraternity is funded entirely off of students' dues. So our 58 undergraduates, we pay semesterly dues. So those dues cover our social service efforts and really everything else that we're going to be doing during the semester. The National Panhellenic Council frats also pay dues, but parties are the monetary backbone of the system. James Banks of the MPHC frat Omega Psi Phi expressed that simply paying dues cannot support the black organizations. We do have dues, um, but there's no way, being that we have a small, it's a much smaller uh, collective group, if we were to allocate those funds towards parties, um, it just wouldn't calculate up enough to at all, even secure a venue. You have to understand that um, these social events and these um, parties are what keeps our organizations alive. Homecoming is historically a party weekend for UVA students. However, for many minority students, they will not be on grounds this Friday or on the corner or even Rugby Road. Instead, they will be at a downtown nightclub at a party hosted by the Kappa Alpha Psi fraternity. When the black frats throw parties at clubs like this one, the money is raised separately, unlike the traditional Greek system where party funds are a part of the dues. This system is called tabling. The MPHC Greek students stand at tables during class hours in the week, selling party tickets for the weekend. Here, at the Garrett Hall bus stop, which is affectionately known as the Black Bus Stop, is home to minority Greek life organizations tabling. Here, students will buy tickets for parties over the weekend at tickets ranging from three, sometimes up to $20. Without houses, the fraternities face logistical hurdles while planning parties. Kappa Alpha Psi member Max Bentel explains why tabling is so important. In doing so, we have to rent out those spaces, which costs a lot of money. And when we rent out those spaces, we have to charge for our tickets so that everyone can go and have a safe place to you know, go and have fun. Despite the financial disparity, these students choose MPHC fraternities anyways. Banks feels the main reason they joined is because of the cultural community they become a part of. Because a lot of people join, within the MPHC specifically join um, because of the cultural background and uh, like of like-minded people of like-minded um, you know, uh, backgrounds. Whether or not the MPHC fraternities will ever be as well known as their IFC counterparts remains to be seen. However, they will continue to expand with fall and spring recruitment lines every year. From the University of Virginia, I'm Jade Baker.